So we talked about foods that you don't like. Mm -hmm. So um, now can we talk about foods that you do like? Okay. Uh, I eat oatmeal every day for breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, I basically have it with fruit and sugar. Um, blueberries, if I have strawberries. Um, I like I like all kinds of oatmeal, but I when I have time, I like steel cut oats. And I like to do a blend of steel cut oats and like the old fashioned oats. So as you see, this is a very weirdly particular thing. <laughs> It is a lot fancier than my oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I like, I like, so this is what's interesting because I'm not one of those people who's like, you know, like anti any type of food that's vegan or really has a big, makes a big deal out of it. But I'd say like, I like pizza a lot. I'm, I'm not as into some of the, it depends on my mood or whatever, but I'm not as into some of the fake meats these days. And I, I'm not 100% sure why. I think that it is almost like my taste buds changed or something. Cause I feel like I used to like them a lot more. Like I used to like eat Beyond Burgers as often as I could. And these days I don't really wanna eat them very often I, I also maybe I could just be stuck in like because like I like field roast for example like I like those but so like I don't totally get it um but yeah I like pizza um I also like things that don't require a ton of thinking so like roasted vegetables especially this time of year mm. you just kind of like chop them up and you put them in the oven and you walk away um i have kind of like a lot of i have a lot of i don't have to think about this a whole lot meals mm. and just things that are combinations so a lot stews and soups and so it's like okay celery celery carrots mushrooms uh lentils soup mm. you know or a stew it's like it's like um just like a lot of take take the thinking out of you know my my side of things sort of work and um so that's that's kind of the summation but it's 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 a lot of savory food um you won't really catch me i mean i like fruit a lot but like i don't know that i will eat a fruit bowl most of the time, you know, and then um, was I like salads, I don't really do salads a whole lot. Because I'm like, what makes this it's not that they're bad. It's just like other people seem to be really good at them. And I'm just kind of mediocre at them. I haven't found the thing that makes them great for me. So, so there's that. Um, and yeah, it's like, but definitely, I think pizza is probably like number one by far. <laughs> yeah, there are like two important points to be made here. One, you don't have to, you know, if you're thinking about adopting a plant-based diet, you don't have to give up your favorite foods. And like, I have yet to meet somebody who does not love pizza. Maybe I don't know that many people, but like, I yeah. love pizza. Everybody I know loves pizza. And guess what? You don't have to give it up. No. And the other thing is, um, food preparation does not have to be complicated no it's just food <laughs> you know like and there's so many ways to go about it you know what what book i don't use it a ton right now some of it i've just internalized but the book that i have often used is um let's see is it, oh yeah the vegetarian flavor bible oh, wow and what's nice about it is That's bible sized <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think about okay because like right now i'm gonna this hopefully i can do this quickly you kind of go in here i'm gonna pick broccoli broccoli is just a random thing and uh let's get to broccoli okay so then they talk about broccoli and then they've got stuff that goes with broccoli mm. and bolded things are you know things that really go with broccoli and then they even have flavor affinities and they have like lists of 
collections of things that go with broccoli. So um, broccoli, lime, noodles, and peanuts, um, broccoli, almonds, and citrus, broccoli, red onions, and yogurt, which, you know, we use a soy yogurt or a non-dairy yogurt of some kind, um, and so on. And then, like, you know, there's just this list of stuff that's the separate, not the, 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 the you know, chained of things. And so it's like cashews, chickpeas, lime, uh, spinach, uh, tofu, thyme, tomatoes. So, you know, it's perfect because you, instead of thinking, oh, I've got to come up with some recipe, like, you know, like the New York Times <laughs> and all this, what you do is you go, well, I got broccoli. What can I eat with broccoli? Oh, walnuts. Well, walnuts, you know, well, they're, they're not the, the most expensive nut, but, you know, they're a little expensive. But, oh, you know, um, potatoes. I mean, which is like sometimes, and sometimes it's like, well, duh. But it's like, that's like anything, right? Where you're like, you didn't, sometimes you hear it and you're like, oh, that makes perfect sense. So anyway, I, you know, if, if you've got the money, that's the only problem. It's certainly a big book, uh, but I, I definitely recommend it because it just like, it's a million cookbooks. I need, I need that cookbook. I'm definitely yeah. getting that cookbook. Thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because so much of this is, you know, amassing the resources, which again, is not a complicated process. There are plenty of resources online, but that's a whole bunch of resources wrapped into one big book. Yeah. So that's, that's fantastic because you, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's really what it's about. It's like, don't, you know, most reinvent the wheel when you want to impress somebody. <laughs> <laughs> when you would do it, when you want to be really avant-garde <laughs> yeah yeah but like you know you're just chilling like why you know yeah why reinvent the wheel just eat yeah um so my last question for you is about eating um um veganism with kids so how so are your kids good eaters would you say good eaters no <laughs> So here's the deal on that. <laughs> so first of all, Lily and I um, argued about this because she's vegetarian mm -hmm. and I wanted to raise the kids vegan and she fought pretty hard. So I lost that one and she won. Now, my youngest Calliope has like a dairy and egg allergy. Mm. So she's the closest to a vegan out of the other two. Um, so what's good is like they have an, they have no interest in meat. They find it abhorrent and they just don't want anything to do with it. They also, well, my oldest Silas, who's 10 now, he knows what veganism is and I talked to him about it. I've explained it to him. You know, I've maybe not in great death, but I've told him what animal liberation is. Mm. So at, at the bare minimum, there's an, a philosophical unrooting somewhere, even if we're not, you know, he's not doing it fully. Um, and then as far as like, yeah, what they eat, um, but it's, it's kind of what kids eat. <laughs> cereal <laughs> snacks they do like you know in different ones like different things I think one of the things that's like and I think a lot of parents will probably say this but it's like our fault in a ways because we indulge our kids it's like you know when we were growing up we were we ate what we were given kids get options now I have three kids they all eat kind of slightly different it's kind of maddening but you know, my middle one, he, you know, he loves applesauce. Um, then the little, the littlest one doesn't want applesauce. The oldest one sometimes wants applesauce. So it's like all these different things. The middle one will eat 
blueberries and carrots and cucumbers, the other two will not eat that. Yeah. So it's kind of like, what are we doing here? Um, and, you know, so they eat a lot of junk food, honestly, like, or what I find to be junk food. Um, I think Lily is probably a little better about getting them to eat stuff that they ought to eat like i think she'll make like um like butternut squash soup and and they'll eat it i'm just not good at it i don't think uh yeah my um my niece has been staying here uh well she's gone she's gone home now because her dad is back but my sister and brother-in-law were abroad um, okay. for like five days for a business trip but then he tagged along so she stayed over here for the first time so I was you know trying to feed her um so it's like it was on me to the, more to an extent than it usually is you know um so I made this quiche with vegan egg and uh she was not having it usually anything with the the pastry you know she's all over it and mm -hmm. the pastry, she did not want it and uh so she ate all olives the trader joe's olives that are stuffed with raw garlic she would just eat the whole jar if i let mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. and then and then she doesn't want to eat anything else and then you know half hour later she said she was hungry and my sister mm -hmm. like you were saying like back in the old days like you ate what was on your plate or you didn't eat and so my sister is kind of old school that way she's like trying to like you need to eat what is in front of you or you're done there are no snacks later and because i am an indulgent auntie I made her breakfast for like her proper dinner. So it was like cashew yogurt and granola and blueberries and strawberries. And she just snarked it all up. So I was like, well, you know, that was nutritious, right? Even though I'm like, wasn't supposed to give it to her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, and I think, you know, people push back on that now. I think there's a lot of stuff that we grew up with that people push back on a lot of times for the better, maybe not all, but, um, and so, you know, I try not to, I just try to keep an eye on what's going on. Yeah. You know, I told, you know, and then they, you know, I will tell them, hey, you know, you already had this, this, and this, and you need to wait until this, this, and this. But I, I overall, I try to avoid being like, well, you didn't need anything. So there, um, there's definitely times where I'm like, yeah, I, I do indulge them too much, but I, I, I don't really want to be like, overly harsh and, and to get to granola I made homemade granola one time and almost I think only one of them liked it Aww. so I had all this granola and I was like you guys are missing out this is really really good but like they you know I, I ended up eating most of it and <laughs> yeah so it's like this impossible Venn diagram like there's like no actual overlap between the three circles <laughs> Well, I think it's a lot of why parents, I think it's a lot of why parents do get lazy um, or actually let me, I don't want to criticize other parents. I will say why I get lazy because you, I don't know what they, if I try certain other things, I don't know if it'll succeed. So it's just easier to do stick with what I know they will eat. Yeah. Yeah. And roughly attempt to you know make sure that the nutritional bases are more right. or less covered exactly. <laughs> exactly. 